Alright, so here's sale video number one. Let's start with the D7 from Captain Cardboard. This is a direct descendant of the original filming model and uh, goes for 300 chipped to you as a kit. Painted and built here will go for 350. Shipping could take it up to 400 total. Nothing I can do about that part of it. That's shipping. Models, sometimes they have a good side and a bad side. This is the bad side, and I'll show you why. There's that seam right there that needs to be filled. And then somewhere along the line, I got that dent in the bulb, which is why the decals haven't been put down. However, I do have them, and I have extras for the rest of it if you want to repaint it all. So uh, this is definitely the better side. Two modifications I made were to put that sensor spike in there, which is a really good shape and size for it. And then over here on the running lights, those got angled so that they're uh, perpendicular to the main line. Otherwise, this kit is in really great shape. There are no other nicks or anything bad. You'll see that there's two toothpicks here. Those are looped around the fishing line, which is itself, uh, let's see if I can do this, which itself goes through a very small pinhole, no bigger than the fishing line itself. And the original studio model had some points there to hang it from. They did that one from piano wire. This is three lines of eight pound test. Uh, the hooks themselves are a heavier uh, brass casting. I'll send you those with the model if you want them. Then back here behind the bulb to get the absolute best connection, I went with some like 50 pound test, a loop of that that goes straight through the resin with another brace inside. And then I just have regular 8 pound test tied to that which goes to the ceiling. The model itself weighs 8 pounds, so if any one line breaks, this is safe. If any two break, you probably got a 50-50 chance that it's still going to be swinging and it won't fall and break. This has been hanging from the ceiling for the last year and a half, almost two years. You'll see that the neck is totally straight and all that time. That's the brass tube going through it. So this is totally stable. The only thing you need to do, and I know I'm not showing you every single side of it, is that right there and this right here. That's a very simple modification for anyone to make usually. And if you need help from talking it through I'll do that. Look at the Atomic City forum and you'll also find a lot of builds on this particular kit. So 350 plus shipping will go up here to the Katinga. This cost me about $35. It's the first best paint job I ever did, maybe the second. This was based off the box art, so there was really all the reference I had at the time. The trifoil decal there has a scratch in it, but otherwise it's in good shape. The top here has gotten a little dusty, but I'll clean all that off. This model is in really great shape. It's one of the best builds I had done up to that time. All the seams are pretty much gone. Drill out that little rested bit of the hole, put a quarter inch brass tube in there and you've got a good stand. And that's about all there is for this. It's otherwise stock, 35 plus shipping. This original D7 is the AMT kit. You can see that up at the top there, the two little uh, bulbs are missing those didn't come with it when I got it again I paid about thirty dollars paint job is pretty much exactly the way they did it for the show just like the captain cardboard this is half the size at about 14 inches and uh, it came out pretty good overall as good as this kit can be so let's pop over here to the Romulan so this is a very rare kit. You don't see them too often. I paid $50 for it and the decal cost me another 
25 shipped. That's the JT Graphics. When I bought it for 50, it didn't have the decal. So, uh, actually, I'll get back to this one because there's a really good Greebly modification I'm going to make. So, I'll put this in a different video because I don't have the Greebly with me offhand. So, let's go up to the Botany Bay. The red one is not for sale. This is painted just like the original studio model. It doesn't look orange in the show, but the Enterprise wasn't blue either. This is $200 shipped as a kit from Captain Cardboard. I think it's in production again now. All the paint, the extra work. These are custom solar sails back there. I'd really need 250 for this plus shipping. It should ship pretty safely. I just got to get a box that fits it really well. I would support the front end and then leave the back end kind of hanging with a buttress down the middle so that uh, it doesn't shift around in the box. You'd probably want to get insurance for it regardless. So 250 plus shipping. Down here to Galileo, when you count the uh, extra lights, the electronics, the extra greeblies I put in, all that stuff. Uh, I think the kit cost me 35 plus there's the Mini Model Madness accuratization kit on the engine there that's uh, really just about perfect quality. And I custom designed all the seats. I recut those from the single stand. In there you've got the round astrogator in front and then those little navigation viewport round things on the sides there's a really good paint job at on the uh, console if you remember correctly I've got screen captures of the back room that were cleaned up from several different uh, scenes there's a control panel where everyone belongs the paint job is pretty accurate for the inside the decals do silver at certain angles and I don't know if I'll be able to catch them. That's a function of how old they were. They went down terrible. You can watch the videos for that entire process so you know exactly what you're getting on this one. But overall for most angles this looks pretty solid and uh, say all the extra lights can really give it an extra bit of life. And the one other thing you get with this is some 135th figures. Let me, this is the wrong top here. So you get this shuttlecraft crew, four guys. I was basically going to change any of the equipment into more Starfleet looking stuff, sand their hats off, give them some hair, and the uniforms already look pretty uh, second technician class for an Enterprise like the jumpsuit basically so these should be easily modifiable into a Starfleet flight crew for them the kit the lights the power switch the power supply all this stuff I really need hundred and fifty for this here's the bad thing about shipping this is a piece of marble so this is not a light kit it's probably five pounds at least so shipping is going to be a lot for this, probably. And I would also be concerned, a lot of these parts just come off. However, the Galileo is hardwired to the deck. That can be taken off, it's just a pain right now. And these power transformers are hardwired to the deck. So even though Galileo can move around, it's still connected. It's possible to trim that from the underside, pack the board separate from the model, but if you want this for $150, we'll talk and figure out what's an acceptable sort of thing, because uh, this can be taken apart, it's just a question of whether you can put it back together again. It would be safer. $150 plus shipping. So at 8 minutes 30, there's a couple more ships here, so I'll start a different installment. Those are the big ones. Three Klingons, the Romulan I'll get back to you with the Greebly. Uh, basically, once I found out that there was a plasma emitter on the front, I've begun creating one. Well, I may as well finish talking about this for a few seconds. Uh, otherwise, it's pretty good. 
The decal at the wing, I got them just a little bit wrong, unfortunately. So if you're going to get new ones, you can. This is not sealed. You can wash that decal off. I'd even suggest giving it a whole new paint job. But the kit basically cost me 50 and I got to charge you for the decals. So there's 75 right there. Maybe an even 100 if uh, it were shipped for a relatively good price. Somewhere in that range. So maybe I can ship it for 100 exactly. We'll see. We'll talk if you're interested. But again, on eBay, you're not going to find those for much less money, never mind assembled and pre-decaled and painted. So that's it for that. See?